Now we head to Ondo State as loved ones came together to bid farewell to Chief Mrs. Eunice Olajide Akinfeleye, who died at the age of 98. It was a celebration of a 98-year journey, laced with sweet tales and memories of Chief Mrs. Eunice Olajide Akinfeleye. The Christian wake held at her residence, located on Church Street, Idonri, in Ondo State. This brought family and other guests together, singing songs of praise to God, taking eulogies for the matriarch. All roads led to St. Paul's Anglican Church, Idori, the next day, where more guests from various walks of life joined the Akifelei and Akinbesote families to pay their last respects to the noble nonagenarian. She taught us how to be diligent in what we do. She taught us how to be neat and meticulous in whatever we lay our hands on. She taught us from her day that we should live for the sake of others. She was very energetic, she was very neat and meticulous in whatever she did. She, she's loving, she, um, she's someone that uh, actually put all the family together, um, she's very entertaining. Uh, when she's, uh, I, I can never forget one thing that when I was growing up in our street, Whenever there is any chaos or anything, even if I'm not, if I was not there, she would be running, running, you know, just to check if I'm okay. So, and I really appreciate that. She's a very kind and generous woman. She taught me that the integrity of a woman is rooted in a moral decency. She had a way of keeping a close touch, even with the wives of her children. Anytime I came back from the office, she would run to me to meet me um, before I, I, I come down from the car. And she would die and say, hey, yeah, I will be today, I am today. Yeah. So all her life, she was always very happy, always in a happy mood.
to Sasa, Owo to Honey, Owo to Hulova, Oluwa. The reception was grand with King of Juju Music Sonyadi entertaining while guests enjoyed sumptuous meals. The enviable picture of the life of Chief Mrs. Eunice Akinfelei can be seen from the celebration of life and the words of family and friends, among others. She was a mother that came, saw the need to have children, saw the need to train them, saw the need to give them sound education, saw the need to be with them all the time, and to dot all over them. May her soul rest in peace. Oh,